Welcome back, you beautiful, blood-stained, bounty-hunting bastard. If you're looking for a good way to remove the blood from your hands, then I suggest you wipe it on the filthy pile of cash you've earned during the last video. This cash, along with your ship value, should now give you a total asset count of 85 million. In this episode, we're still going to be earning cash from the suffering of others, but this time, we're keeping our hands clean and doing it via trading. Now the Vulture is an excellent killing machine, but it is absolutely useless for trade. So we're going to need to kit you out with a new ship. I'd recommend stripping down your Vulture and selling it, and purchasing a hauler, kissing it out for distance travel. When you've done that, head on over to 109 Piscium, and we're going back to the icing dock. When you get here, strip down whatever ship you've used for the journey and open up the shipyard. Find yourself the nicely discounted Type 9 Heavy and hit purchase. Congratulations on your purchase of the Space Pig. This plucky porker has more than enough room to gobble up anything you'd care to put inside it. Oi, back off Cameron. I'm talking about cargo capacity. Cargo capacity is one of the things we're going to have to sort out before we head on to our next destination. So go ahead and open up ship outfitting. Now you guys have already had a lot of experience with ship outfitting. So I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me outfit the whole ship. The things you need to change are as follows. You're going to want to upgrade your frameshift drive to a B6. You're going to sell your classic shield generator. And in the slot below where it was, you're going to add a D5 shield generator. For all the other slots, outfit maximum capacity cargo racks. As with the Type 6 build, fitting a standard docking computer to the final slot is entirely optional. You can check whether or not you've done it right by looking at your maximum cargo capacity, which should be 496, and a laden jump range of 10 light years. When you've done that, open up hard points, get rid of your guns, and equip four A0 shield boosters to your utility slots. If you did sign up with a T1000 for the last video, then I strongly recommend you leave now. We're going to be travelling into hostile space, and belonging to him will only increase your interdiction rate. With that said, it's time to move on to our next destination. So open up your galaxy map and type in LTT. 8517. Now open up the system map and plot yourself a course to Hopkins Dock. When you arrive, don't forget to refuel, then head on into the commodities market. Now go ahead and fill up your cargo bays with Imperial Slaves. If you're having problems sleeping at night due to your newfound profession as a human trafficker, I find it helps to imagine them as willing slaves and picture myself as a jovial slave master. When you're done reconciling your conscience with your new profession, open up your navigation map and select Bestie from the drop down list, which will be right near the bottom. The Empire welcomes visitors to our facilities. Lock the destination, launch your ship, and head on over to Bestie. When you arrive in the Bestie system, pull away from the sun, open up your navigation drop down, and select Bickle Station, and then head on over. When you arrive at Bickle Station, open up the commodities market and we're going to go ahead and sell our slaves. As you can see here, we've made a nice profit just under one and a half million for one journey. When you've sold your slaves, go on up through the list, select crop harvesters and fill yourself out to maximum capacity. When you've done that, Open your navigation list back up, drop down to near the bottom, and select LTT 8517. As soon as you're ready, launch your ship and head on back. Again, as soon as you arrive in the system, pull clear of the sun, go to navigation, and lock in Hopkins Dock. When you're safely back in Hopkins Dock, open up the commodities market, and go ahead and sell your crop harvesters. 
Now, we're only going to make about 281,000 profit from this trip, but that gives us a combined journey profit of almost 1.75 million. Now it's just a simple matter of repeating the trade journey. Now you want to get your trade time down to a full circuit in about seven minutes. Here are my top tips to help you do just that. Firstly, when you're ready to leave the station, hit launch and immediately hit start, exit the game and reload. When you come back in, you'll be about 8k away from the space station, out of mass lock and ready to engage your FSD to the next system. Secondly, try to remember the direction to the dock you're heading to from your entry point into the system. Thirdly, always approach your dock from inside its orbit. That way, when you exit Supercruise, you're going to be facing straight on to the docking bay doors. The fourth tip is for those of you still using the docking computer. Just like we did with the Type 6, you need to cane it through the front door as soon as you get through to the other side, put down your landing gear to act as an air brake, throttle down to zero, and just allow the computer to complete the final few feet of your journey for you. The final piece of advice I'd give you is to seek out your own trade route. There are trade routes out there that can give you 20 million credits an hour. The more people use a route, and the longer they use it for, the less profitable it will become. Now you're going to want to keep on trading for about 4 hours until you've got 140 million in assets. Now don't go wasting that money on lubrication and talcum powder. Instead, join me in part 5 for the final step of our journey.